Uh, you know. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. We're going to throw them into it because they're not responding. Appreciate you all joining us here tonight. As we begin, we left off last session was a lot of fun and crazy. So, to recap it, here we have... If I don't hear anyone speak up, I'm going to roll a d3. No, I kind of just want to see what the dice say. <laughs> One, two, three. H8 wants to do the recap. H8, what happened last session? If, if you're here, currently muted in Discord. Yeah. Deke and H8 are both showing as muted in there Discord. Was, there was a lot. Do you want to tell it while we wait for him to get back and then have him fill in his? I'm trying to remember what all happened to just me. I can't remember what happened to everyone else. Yeah, just say what happened to you and what you remember. Okay. Well, Last session there was a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, once H8 caught back up with the group, and they let me rest. Uh, Deke and H8 had a nice long conversation while uh, my old Dax was resting in the corner. So I'm not exactly sure what happened during that. But once we got up to the CD Overseer, we found out all sorts of interesting things. Um... H8 did find his backup, that one I remember. And he can also see, just like the alien race can, or at least close enough, to where he can navigate through the city, outposts, whatever this underwater thing is. Mm -hmm. I think it's a... I guess called a town? Mm, kind of. Small city, town, outpost. Outpost. Oh, yeah. Separate designation <laughs> than what you have, you know. Right. Mordor. Shh. No, he's back. Sorry. <laughs> no, at all. It's all good. You actually need to speak up. You and H8 need to kind of fill in the gaps from Dax. Uh, as far as I Dax, after he woke up and they found the overseer. Um, science. Lots of science. <laughs> he got deep scanned. Um, we were able to, or the entity overseer, whatever you want to call it, injected Dax with something. Still don't know what it was, but now I can... Well, that works just the type of physical drive that I can communicate with either way. I'm not sure if it was the injection that did that, or just... He found a way to work after the scan. Hmm. Or it found a way to work it? Whatever. Um, Did you already talk about the upgrades that H8 and I got? No. Mm -mm. Mm. That one's on you. Have that. I know D can get upgraded too. <clears throat> yeah. But you and H8 had a nice conversation while Dax is out as well. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't remember much about that one. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't even remember you getting injected with anything. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sorry to say. Well, that's why we need all three of you to give a recap then, so you can each <laughs> recap what you remember. <laughs> all right. So from my point of view, I'll just go back to the beginning. H.A. could see things that no one else could, so we found a way to stream it to Deke's heads-up display in his helmet, so we could have more than one person seeing what's going on for the augmented reality type thing that was going on in the city. Um, and we could also see that cool Sauron-like eye watching over the city, which is... I'm, I'm assuming that was mostly the Overseer, even though the Overseer is really everybody, but it was a much bigger eye than all the other ones. Mm -hmm. Um... We rested fully, finally, so Dax could have some say in things. 
Uh, we took the elevators to the top floor, to the overseer floor. Um, H8 went up first, because he's too big. Um, so he went ahead and scouted, but ended up talking to the AI um, while we were, the rest of the team was in the elevator getting up there. Um, he ended up talking with the AI. He got uh, opened up and upgraded. Um, he got, uh, I'm not sure what the end game uh, part of it would be called, but he basically got an intelligence upgrade. Um, and he's, oh, he's able to uh, remember more about his past. That's right. No, it's not that I remember more about my past. It's that I have expanded memory now. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And I also found out, because I asked um, if there is a backup somewhere of me from, right. you know, from when I was taken, basically. Or stored, stored, basically. Yeah. Which reminds me that the Galactic Academy and this city are talking. Yeah, they're currently That's right. Talking. That's right, they are currently talking. <laughs> Does that mean we can find a better H8 and just upload, upload your program? <laughs> Um, get, a, get a full full respec. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can get that crocodile monster from the from the third floor or something. If I can upgrade him. <laughs> and lastly, that I remember, um, Deke got an upgrade, which uh, allows him to see the augmented reality that's around us. So I can see what H eight sees. Um, I'm not quite as. Uh, for lack of a better word, intelligent on the, the language. So I still don't understand that part. I just can see what he sees. And supposedly, it should be able to help me outside of this city too, hopefully. And that's all I remember, really. All right. Hey, Jay, anything else you want to fill in or? Um. Extrapolate. Oh, if I can remember anything. <laughs> um, basically, H8 right now, I remember, was left wanting to find his backup so that he could have his memories back. Because he feels like he, he lost something important to him. But he doesn't know what. We actually we ended... leave off with you downloading everything? Was I? Yeah. We um, ended last session with you pa you're... basically like powering down so you could handle the download of the, uh, all of it. The end of, the end of last week was a little fuzzy. <laughs> we'll just say, so. But, okay. I mean, at that point, then, you know, I'm getting my memory, mm -hmm. and we'll see what happens. So... We come back in and see the party in their various locations. Deke is feeling the ache from his surgery, as he has had uh, a mechanical interface grafted to his skeleton. As he does. <laughs> we have AJ8 currently somewhat on standby. getting a full download of the backup and we have Dax kind of investigating himself to see what's been done and then we have Zal somewhere in the building <laughs> pouting and complaining that there's no organic matter yeah, sound about right? So pushing spores around, you know, just, just trying to get spores to con connect to something. I mean, they connect to you. Yeah, so Sal I mean, comes in with like a bunch of mushrooms growing off of him. And if you wanted to knock Kuzak was, down, you could use him, but that would not be very nice. Say, was, was Kuzak left on the shoreline outside? No, he made it through. Um, he I forget if he swam in or not. Yeah. Okay. He swam in with you guys to the door, and yeah. then okay. 
Yeah, I'm with you guys. I just have not. It was like three weeks ago, so I'm like, wait, did he come in? <laughs> I remember someone didn't want to come in. But who oh, was that? Was, that was HA. He was whining. Oh, yeah, then he, the then he walked time. through the water anyway. Well, he was worried about the hair gel getting <laughs> his eyes or something. I don't remember what it was. There was no hair gel. He's a robot. HA <laughs> was worried about having to walk along the bottom of a lake that has giant serpent creatures. I mean, mostly he was just wary of water in general. That too. Yeah, the, you guys had an issue with those giant serpent creatures? I was just like, yeah, okay, we're friends, we're, we're family. This is He's probably some distant cousins. Mm, they strike you as the kind that would probably eat you. That's that's like if you guys saw like a T-Rex or something and Killian's like, oh yeah, it's a long lost bud. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Little bit different of a spectrum. But you'd be a lot more familiar with them and have some ideas on how to deal with them, Kuzak. Absolutely. So, you all are in those respective locations. Kuzak, would you have been hanging out with Zal, or would you be looking to see if you can be modified or something like the others had? Yeah, he, he's kind of... He, he's been looking to get modified, because uh, all of this stuff he's been witnessing is just like, okay, this is... This is like my my people's ancient history stuff. Like this is mm. this reminds. Me of it. Yeah, I don't mean like like um like this is the same thing, but I mean like um like aquatic underground ancient. Well, stuff. these are technically not aquatic creatures. Um, they're actually surface creatures that built a sub submerged base. Which is why they actually have it airlocks and everything to get in. Um, you actually can breathe in the water, so your guys' base are just like sunk buildings. You don't have to build an air dome. So we're so we're automatically superior. Just saying. We don't we don't have to build a tube. What are you kidding? Exactly. <laughs> um. But seeing everything that was down here with these guys makes me makes because I kind of want to use use of heat for energy is right up your alley. Yeah, because that's that's kind of like the primary energy that your people would use is thermal energy. Other than that, it's totally foreign to you. It's totally alien. Um, it's a lot more reptilian than you are, given they're a group of six rep reptilian species. Did we figure that out, that it's six reptilian species? Mm-hmm. Okay. There is six different yeah, species I'll, I'll that you saw the statues of everything. way back at the first place you found. One of these is a gecko that's trying to sell me life insurance. And then later on, they found out that part of why the language is so difficult is because it's a combination of six languages. Well, like a meshing of six languages. Correct. Right? Yeah. It's almost all six languages written at once, overlapping. They're able to figure it out, and we wouldn't be able to because we're not used to that. Correct. 
which is why it's made it so much more difficult to attempt deciphering at all. Because even if you see a picture of something similar, like, this is a building. Well, it says this is a building in six different languages written on top of each other. Which makes it kind of difficult to read. Okay, that's an interesting question then. Because the fact that I understand it, does that mean GA understands it now? That was answered last time as well. Okay, just please just roll with me. <laughs> Probably because you uploaded okay. your memories that you've gotten. Right. I, I assumed as much. I was just going to actually, if I had to roll to like, mm -hmm. send the information, like explain the information or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the nice thing about being mechanical is that the way you got it, you can right. transfer it. It's just a signal, basically. Mm-hmm. So... That is where we all find yourselves lovely events that have transpired. You're all kind of spread throughout this central tower. What do you want to do? Well, there's like three of us in a science lab at the moment. Two. <laughs> no, I thought no. Deacon was two. Two. Dax and H8 are in the science. Okay. Uh, Deke went down to a different location. Which, if Kuzak decided he did want to get modified, he would go there and roll the same saves. Yeah, Zal has no interest in being modified. Like, he, he doesn't believe in mechanical things. Like, it's not that he doesn't believe in them, he doesn't see the benefit of being mechanical. Like, he's just so organic himself. Well, but Dax I will, I will, couldn't get modified. Escort, if, if, if Deke is going by himself, I will escort him down there to um, participate. In no, he was already gone before you could have joined him. Okay, then yeah, I'll just um, stay up there and rest or whatever I need to do, you know? For, I would never, um, I would never accept a mechanical, um... You could have gone with upgrade. Dax and H8 to Science Division if you wanted. Yeah, that's fine. But I, I, Deke had already like an, ran. An investigator, you know, a scientific investigator, so... Okay. I'd probably go with them. You know, okay. Like, you know. And what did Kuzak want to do? Uh, Kuzak wanted to, uh, go down and get modified, because anything okay. that can help him survive longer would be great. The modification that was being talked about was getting a mechanical, robotic kind of overlay grafted to your skeleton like you had seen the aliens have in that cave. Is that something that Kuzak would be interested in acquiring as a modification? Dax is too squishy for it, so... He had to choose another option. Uh, yeah, probably actually. It's up to you. It could it potentially have um, severe ramifications. Yep, yeah, you probably still do it because, I mean, anything's better than. You know, someone showing up to destroy your own okay. family line. Roll yeah, a give it advantage over your enemies. Roll a d10. Plus, if I look strange in an alien, I'm gonna be, you know, they can't find me. That is a six. Okay, you live through the procedure. 
Now we'll see if you get messed up during it. So we're going to make some saves. First off, a con save. Con save. Oops. 15 plus my con, which is uh, zero. So uh, con, 15. Okay. Deke, was it a charisma than an intelligence save or intelligence save than charisma save? Charisma intel. Okay. So then charisma save. Okay. Charisma save is also a 15 plus. Um, that's 21. Okay. No intelligence save. All right. I'm going to go old. Yeah. Uh, that is, uh, ten. Do you think that's good enough? Do you want to use your inspiration? Wow, oh, this early? I don't know. Uh, I'll use my inspiration. Okay. Okay. 19. Okay. You're able to successfully have it grafted and connect with it. But it hurts. <laughs> it's just like, yay, oh god. Um, yeah. When you go down there, you remove all your gear and you lay on this bed and it literally cuts you open with microblade and lays in onto grafting onto your skeleton a Oof. interface <laughs> no numbing agent no paralytic things nope I mean, even if there is no amount of pain killing exactly is going to remove that bit you know there's still yeah. going to be some I I am I am surprisingly proficient with that knowledge in real life more than I ever wished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. My, my my wife had uh, a barrel and she had spinal leak, which means that um, uh, she as a result of it um, falling a parapet door fell out basically. Um, uh, so uh, she has for the last week had excruciating 10 out of 10 headaches that they're like, yeah, we're giving you painkillers and uh, Advil for and Tylenol. And I was like, oh, what's that going to do? Barely anything. Yeah. It's so just, th there's some yeah. pain that is beyond what painkillers can do. Yeah. And that's kind of where this was requiring that con save. Oh, yeah. So now that I have this, now I'm writhing in agony as well as being like, okay, this was worth it. <laughs> Why am I seeing a lot of white light and visions of my family? Actually, looking around, everything has a basically almost like a holographic overlay on it. Ooh. We need to ask the AI if they can contact any other cities, outposts, whatever. Sorry, I've been sitting here quietly thinking about a lot of things. <laughs> it's good to do. Thinking is important on games that require you to use your brain. Because at first I was thinking, we need to visit some of those old ruins that we already went through. We might be able to see a lot more information now. Maybe, if they have oh, yeah. any slight power. Yeah, go back to but that one like, that oh, was wait, sucked power. into the earth. We have a working AI here. Does it have any sensors or anything that, are, I mean, it's obviously going to be attuned with their technology or something that can help us find other ones and maybe revive them? Yeah, we need to talk to the overseer again before we leave. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys can try to go do that if you want. You see Zal there. Uh, Zal, you actually saw um, Dax go into this device and get a full scan. And you could tell it was a readout of him, but you can't read the language. But it's a full readout of him. Like, 
in-depth scan, like sub, like atomic level scan, everything about him from a physical standpoint. So when he steps out, I wait, I wait patiently, or I wait for him to step out, and I say, "So Dax, what did you think about the scan? Do you feel like it's something that um, organic should do, or is it a?" Um... He immediately heads over to another device and gets an injection. While you're asking him that, I guess that wasn't uh, my choice. It just kind of dragged me. <laughs> no, you, you went over there to it. It doesn't need to go. It wasn't yeah, like guess, you will get, get this. Scan. I, I'll get a scan run on me, but I don't. I'm not committing to any kind of injection or anything. Like that. I'll get okay. It runs a full scan on you. And you see oh, a readout fine. of yourself all the way through your whole corporeal form. So you can see like the full um, details, everything. The, the inside of like my actual body without the black, without the collective growing yeah, out of me. Yeah, everything. You see the, the, you know, like they basically, if Dax is around, he, he would be able to understand that like basically my body's like two parts. It's like the collective. And then the actual Zal character, you know, like the, the the black that you see growing all over him is not Zal. That's just the collective, in, like, um, growing on him. That, that the collective part of it, you know, like, um, so it's like a little bit of like character lore, I guess you could say. Yeah. So after your injection, Dax, you look back and you see Zal's skin there, and you see like. The scan shows a writhing surface that you've seen, as he said, the black. And then underneath, you see a more corporeal fungal, fungoid form and all the organs and components that make up it. Does the uh, does the, the data go apeshit trying to identify each and every single member of the collective? Weird. No, because it's not the collective. It's the collective's influence. It's an extension of the collective, not the whole uh, collective. Okay. Um, when I, after I get done with the the um the scan, I would like to like um use the data, uh, use my medicine or my science degree or whatever, and and see if I can obtain anything useful or if not if that's a dead end then we don't have to do it but it's just an idea sure um you I can roll probably for that. remind him to download it in physical form so he can he can have it for later or other places because i do remember that i did do that that's what that's what was on the chip that i got correct <laughs> and do you remember what you said about the injection you got or not Nope, unfortunately not. I know it did something, but not exactly. I don't remember. You should go ahead and review that while we finish this. Okay. Um, roll a... For you, it could be a medicine check or a science check. Zal. You have... Um... Expertise in medicine, so that's um, four, so it's 21. You got a 21? Okay. Yeah, you actually can determine your species and its core components of which organs are vital, which ones aren't. Uh, you can actually determine some of how your systems actually break down food quote-unquote food, you know, whatever you ingest for sustenance, how that works. And you can actually see that level of details. Is there something particular you're looking for, or just a better understanding? Um, I basically did it because the rest of my party did it, and I wanted to be um, on the same page as my party, you know, like, that's... That was my, my motivation for it, because I didn't want them to think that I was like a snake in the grass kind of a guy, you know, like, do you wish for an altercation? Do I wish for an altercation? No. Okay. 
I just wanted I just wanted to do it because the rest of my party did it and then if I didn't it was I was the only one that didn't do it it would, it would raise questions in my mind as all would think you know like if nobody else did it but me you know like everybody else did it but me then why wouldn't I do it kind of thing you know I just because mm -hmm. he's, he's been for, he's from a planet of persecution you know like where you know like he's always been an outcast you know and he just is trying to fit in with the with the um party you know Okay. Each eight comes so back I... online. Oh, uh, you what, Sal? Oh no, I'm good. H8, you're back online now, and you notice your memory banks are much more loaded than they were. How much do I remember? Do I remember you're... everything? You know you have it there. You haven't been able to catalog it correctly, chronologically and everything, to make sure that it makes sense. So right now it's a bunch of files that are kind of jumbled around. So it's not part of my key memory, then. It's just files of my memories, kind of. Yeah, it's your full memory has been re-downloaded okay. that you initially okay. uploaded. It just hasn't been deciphered in the sense of... Imagine snippets of a movie, right? If you scramble them up, you have to put them back in order for it to all make sense, right? Gotcha. So that's kind of how your memory is. Like, you have the full file. You just haven't pieced it together appropriately to fully recount it. Key fragmenting. Well, at that, po at that point, or at this point, he would not stop to get the answers. So I would, I would like to try to do that as fast as possible. Okay. When you think back about the image that was missing, that you recall bringing right. up with Dax, you actually see that one right exactly. away. Like, it comes memory. up fine. What is that memory? Hmm? What is that memory? Of a individual who changed you, improved you, and used you as a guard, enhanced your functionality, gave you life, gave you choice. Immediately he knows, like, this is, this is who I forgot. Now, I don't know any details, I just, like, basically, I remember what this person looked like. I mm -hmm. felt something from it. Right. But that means now you can have a better chance of finding similar footage. Where I can piece were, things from that. With this individual. And start right. piecing little snippets together of this individual. Right. I mean, do I do that piecemeal or do am I going... Because, like I said, as soon as he... Especially seeing that... He still hasn't moved. Like he's come mm -hmm. back, he's come back into consciousness, but he hasn't moved. Because I still would like he would still just be like searching for that answer. Like why is she so important to me? Like roll an uh, int check. Why? Or history. Oh, history? Okay. Mm -hmm. That will be a 15. Doesn't it stink to have enhanced memory? You're able to actually find some additional. And she found you damaged on the battlefield. You had been modified. Your memory is remembering you've been modified from original functionality to be makeshift combat. Mm -hmm. She lifted you above that repaired you, turned you from a servant into a companion, turned you from basic machine into able to think, to be, gave you life and gave you purpose. You know, I mean, all the all the feelings are getting more welled up thinking about about this person. 
um, and what they did for me. They made you you. They took yeah, your they scraps. Made, I wouldn't be. Yeah, I wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be a thing <laughs> if if it wasn't for for this person. Um. Now he is of two minds at this point, where he he wants to question and deep dive deeper into, you know, his origins, exactly where he came from, what was he before, mm -hmm. you know, the battlefield, what was he, what what did she do to him, what did she put in him, what did she, you know, whatever, it ha what happened, why he is the way he is. But honestly, he's still just thinking, I need to know more about her, mm -hmm. and I need to see more and remember more. The other feeling you get is similar to when the relief of finally being able to move and be yourself again. You had a similar feeling to that more recently, which was when yeah. Dax brought you online. Exactly. The relief of finally being, feeling like you're somewhat whole again. You can right. move, you can function, you're not just there. And with her, it took longer to get to that point because you literally got to see your body rended and damaged and destroyed from the battlefield, getting mended. She had your wires in your, essentially your neck, elongated, so she could move around with your head talking to you and stitching meticulously your being back together. Upgrading your functionality, giving you enhanced capabilities, and giving you life, the ability to think, to function, to decide. Mm -hmm. And not till she modifies your programming to that do you feel alive, like, I am me. Before that, it's very basic, rudimentary. There's no sort of feelings or it's just cognitive memory. before that point. After that update, it's everything's like new perception. Everything's new evaluation. You're saying it's what? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying like everything before what she did to me was more of just like a recording whereas yeah. everything after is more more dynamic <laughs> yeah it's like it's like almost like a real memory where you can kind of feel like a human where you can exactly feel things as long as as well as remember them and like see them or hear exactly them. exactly so at that point you feel that shift and she, you know, keeps working on your body, mends your body, gets it functional, and uses you, not in a, you're a machine kind of way, but requests and has you as a defense against something that's coming at her. And you can't, those clips aren't always available, but after that you look for other images of her and spending time with you as her companion, her friend, for years, and defending her from all sorts of things as she's constantly pursued by something again and again and again. And whenever she finds ways to improve your capabilities, she does. Internally, while looking at all these files, and basically re-remembering. Like internally I'm smiling. Like I, I can't physically smile. Right. I don't have I don't have the capability to do that, but internally I'm smiling watching this. It's I mean, she's kinda like a mother figure to you. Yeah. Who yeah, basically was friends with you but also cherished you and did anything she could to help you and if something could make you better, would do what she could to make it happen. And eventually, yeah, I was gonna say there's there's a part of a part of H8 though, as he's watching all this, that knows there's an end, and he he wants to see like 
the last time you saw her. You find the last time you saw her. But she's still alive. She's still well. Something happens and things go dark. And an indeterminate amount of time goes by. And you come back online. Your system is all locked up. And you see someone who looks familiar poking around at you with this little floating skull next to him. Oh, you're, you're an interesting specimen, yes. You're semi-functional. I wish I had the knowledge to be able to communicate with you and get you online, but... Ah, yes. Well made. Huh. Interesting. And you're loaded onto a ship and taken to a galactic academy. And you're Wait, there for a I, while. Can I, can I all, like, first be like, so the scientist at the camp was the one that discovered me? I uh, could be. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Sorry. <laughs> well, keep in mind, the guy you see is like 20-ish years old. He looks 20-ish years old. professor that you've seen oh. is like beyond what human expected life is. Mm -hmm. Like, he's old. He's old. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Continue. Sorry. I'm, and, on, I'm on the ship being being taken to the Galactic Academy. Yeah, and then it just kind of phases in and out of years passing by of different people coming and examining you, some trying to tinker with you, none making success until this new bright batch of students come in, and there's this weird cephalopod floating by with them. <laughs> and he just always seems to be looking at you. And he comes and studies by you, and then he touches you and talks to you. And you are able to carry on a conversation with him and build a friendship with him and start talking about the scans of where your, you know, the issues are. And slowly build that friendship and understanding. And he's able to activate you and get you back online. And you're told you get to be considered a graduate with him and can go with him on the mission he has the day of his graduation. I mean... I, I, per personally, I'm, I'm just getting like goosebumps. Like, this is like my origin story. I was like, it's weird. Um, I, we did that the whole thing pretty well. There's... Okay. Um, age eight, thinking this whole time. Um, he first feels sorry about yelling at Dax again. He looked over at Dax, who's doing uh, something with age eight. Just a second. Are any of you having any audio yeah, issues I'm with him? Is the robot sounds like a robot at the moment? Okay. Yeah, age Oh, really? Like yeah, you sounded a little bit robotic. Like, hmm. <laughs> it does a little bit, but some of the words are dropping a little bit, so that's my only concern. I didn't want to miss something you're saying. Hold on, I think... Oh, no. Yes, every time I talk... Uh, let me... Well, do you guys want to take a quick five-minute break since we're close to the halfway mark? I mean, the only thing I would be doing at the moment would be examining what, ex like, any other things I could find out about what happened to me. Yeah. Or the injection. Well, let's quickly do a... I... Let's do our five-minute break, then. So that you mm -hmm. got... He can restart, and that you can quickly review. See if you recall what you said and all that. And then we will be back, and we will press on. Does that sound good? Yep. Cool. Cool. Do you in five.
All right, welcome back, everyone. I believe every, all our lovely players are all set. So, H8 was having some interpersonal dialogue and discovery, and Dax got a injection that did something. And his desire was to allow his race to communicate with each other and transfer knowledge similar to how the this uh, alien species just downloaded knowledge into him that being said h8 you were discussing and thinking on what you would do like i think you said you're going to you felt bad about your outburst at dax and you're going to talk to him yes because we, well seeing the end of the memory there it kind of refueled why I was so close to him, because he reminded me of her. The one who made me free, basically. Mm -hmm. He made me free once again. So, right out of having that memory, I actually move and go over to, to Dax and, and say, I, I am sorry about before. I remember now. I remember almost everything. Uh, Dax would be like, that's great. I'm glad you got your memories back. Because, <laughs> I mean, it would. I don't know how I would feel if I lost a bunch of memories, so that must have been awful. <laughs> yes, and that's why I lashed out and then acted like a little baby. <laughs> I'm not sure about the baby part, but, you know, it's about the process. I sit around and process for days sometimes depending on what I'm thinking about <laughs> and what I've learned I've actually been forced to move along much faster than I'd like normally here on this planet like this uh, room alone I could spend weeks in maybe months oh well I know your your, <laughs> your, your hunger for knowledge is, is abound so here take my hand okay <laughs> I I want to transfer to him my full schematics and basically anything I know about my origins and you know, not physicality but, you know, mechanics, basically. Okay. Dax, you see the only way to transfer some of it is the actual memory. And so you see okay. this lady okay. using these alien devices that are unknown that are connected, but not fully connected within H8. <laughs> that this being, um, H8, go ahead and describe this lady who. Oh, I for hold on. on you. Oh, oh, Don. Okay, I, we'll had get... per I had the perfect. I had the perfect description when I wrote it. I mean, it, you so. can share it with me later too, if you want. Yeah, pull it up and get it, yeah, and yeah. we'll talk about it. Um, and you see her connecting this device, repairing him, a full schematic of his original form, his modified form, and his current kind of iteration form. And just a list of all the modifications and alterations she did. On a physical point. But you also get the sense that his programming shifted from one form to another form to its current released form. From labor robot to half ass security to Well no 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 live. No, no no no. <laughs> From labor robot construction bot right. to makeshift war bot uh, to intelligent friend and defender. To an actual being that had a choice. Yes. And H8, if you find that, just feel free to butt in. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, it, it's basically a tall, maybe seven foot, very thin humanoid. Uh, has hair. Um, more human. Actually, more, more alien than human, I would say, in description. If that makes sense. Like For some reason, features. my brain went to the Aeon Flux art style. 
<laughs> oh wow. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, that's not. That's, <laughs> I, I, honestly, I, I would, I, I would think, I would think. Okay, um, uh, um, in the prequels, the Star Wars prequels, the cloners. Yeah, that's that kind of like that. Thinking of. Is not as extreme, and they have hair. Gotcha. <laughs> they have hair. That's, yeah, I mean, well, the hair is the yeah. It's a big difference, honestly. Right. But that's that's basically what what the yeah what females look like. You've I got. I mean, if animated, the Aeon Flux art style would work for that. <laughs> I, kind of, kind of. If they were a little, if they were just a little more alien looking, yeah. <laughs> Cass's ghost comes online. And Cass's goose is like, I wonder how much you can get for the real AI. <laughs> oh, jeez. <geez. laughs> Dax, you've never seen that race before either. No. And if you showed me, like, everything leading up to it, then I could probably recognize that he's been in storage for a while. It's up to him <laughs> if he <a> while. <laughs> gave all that info or if he just did the... I... I, honestly, at the data. time, I would just be yeah. Just I would give anything that had to do with how I was made or you know okay. schematic or whatever like that. So that's that's all I would give. Okay. And... So it's not like a thing I'm thinking. It's more like I'm uh, this. I want you to see this, you know, and then because I know you'll like to see it. Hey, this is yeah. data of how I'm made, how I yeah. function. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then. Uh, from Dean, then, would I have any issues processing that amount of information? Because I know his schematic was, like, huge. Or at least I thought it was. It's fairly large, but you seem to be able to handle the data input nice. better now. You're not sure why. Mm. I have a suspicion. Or a theory, I should say. You can have all the suspicions and theories you want. <laughs> So, that is where you find yourselves. <laughs> Does this increase my bonus to working on dad at age 8? <laughs> right now I'm at a plus 2 in working on age 8. <laughs> I remember that. It means Wait, you don't a, have you're to... You're at a plus 3. You're at a plus 2 at work. Oh, that's right. Because yeah. That's yep. the schematic yeah. I got. <laughs> you don't have to pull the schematic out anymore. So you don't have to have a physical... No. Pull out and display. That's it's all fair. in your That's mind fair. now. It is in your mind, so you can't lose it. Before it was able to be lost. Don't gotcha. don't worry. Don't don't worry. We'll we'll get the transforming HA eventually. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. You shall become my pocket worship. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Part of this upload oh. makes you very uncertain. To what degree you can modify some of him because some of him could not fit within a schematic view and he had to show you the memory of the work being worked on because it literally does not show up in robotic scans of him oh neat yeah i'd be more fascinated than anything but I, that, that was gonna that was gonna lead to a question and you already answered it and i'm not gonna even question now Go for it. Uh, I mean, I, I was, I, I would, the question was going to be, well, now that I know my whole schematic, does G8 know my whole schema schematic? Yes. You uploaded but, everything. But, but you just said that my schematic doesn't include everything. <laughs> no. But you did upload oh, all, all your memories. memories. Yeah, all those, well, all those memories were already... Right. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you got them got back it. from her. So she already has that. So, yeah, yeah. She, okay. Yeah. yeah. They already knew those memories. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Depending on how vast the data storage is, it might get caught by garbage collection, though. Who knows? End of the, end of the cycle collection. <laughs> well, I, think with, I think with the... 
some some of the new information, maybe not. I don't know. No, it's no, it might pop up. Well, no, no, it's, it's being no, the one no. that found you. It's that, it's, the, it's GA. It's GA. Like literally, they keep all the information ever. Like that's right. their purpose. No, they're they're not gonna run no. out of space. <laughs> If they get close to needing more space, they get an oh. upgrade and get a lot more space. Right, exactly. <laughs> she will not. I mean, her whole existence, and I say she because that's the persona right. the creator gave her, is simply to collect, collate data. All data. Um, wait. So... At this point, like I, you know, I'm give, I've given him. He's he's literally just looking at it, nerding out, as he usually does. Yes, most of. And uh, I'm, wow. I'm like, okay, I'm you have that. And you're made like this, and you, ooh, it connects like that. I'm like, okay, okay, pay attention. Updates later, obviously, but there's someone at camp we need to talk to. And he's still holding my hand at this point as I'm sharing, and he's looking at the information. And I show him the the, the flash of who who found me on my original planet. Dex, you see about a twenty-ish year old human with a floating skull next to him, recording and scribing things. Turns G uh, H eight on. Ah, oh, man, I wish I had it. And goes back that whole thing that you heard. Right. Some of the way the guy dresses and acts seems familiar. I mean, if he looks enough like the professor, I'd probably be able to put it together. The skull looks to be about the same. Some right. slight modifications. But the skull could have also been passed down. Could yeah. have. That jacket sure seems to be a that. newer version of the same thing. The eyes, though. Those eyes get you. Those eyes yeah. seem to be, like, identical. Gotcha. Because whenever you bring something new into him, he has this same look right. that he had all <laughs> those years ago. The look that Dax would have if he had eyes like uh, well, normal you know, have human eyes. eyes. <laughs> I don't have normal human okay, eyes. Yeah, okay, have right eyes. <laughs> so his eyes literally light up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I wish I had a drum set right now. <laughs> oh man. Ah. <sighs> The Sorry, fun everyone, of everyone, but this is the H8 uh, Dax arc right now. <laughs> the, the fun of the uh, literal bioluminescence. Your yeah. eyes light up. Oh, no metaphorical meanings. So, anything else with the two of you? Uh, yeah, I, I, I just, I mean, does, does Dax acknowledge, like, this is why we, we need to talk to the professor like or the oh. yeah. i mean absolutely and if you shared stuff uh did you share stuff about the creator or just your building process like did you share her with me or is it just your schematic and stuff related well and the that, schematic oh, the vision of her are you, are did you, come yeah so, are you asking me or are you asking out of character yeah, I'm asking if you if I Dax saw anything about her. If so, I know who you were looking for, because <laughs> I know you're looking for somebody from how you've been acting. Yes. I'm not. Yeah, but I'm not looking for her. I just know we need to talk to the professor because it looks like the professor younger was the one who right. found me. I didn't. I didn't share anything other than schematic and yeah. my build process. Okay. The schematic well, image I said showed your maker, lady, because right, it, the it non scannable components image, were right. shared via that memory. But yeah. Uh, well, with Dax, he would ask, oh, the professor seems to know more about you than we thought, or at least where you came from. Um. Okay. What were you wanting to ask him, though? Like, 
why do you want to search for him? I want to know more about myself. I want to know more about what happened to me. I want to know about more where I came from. Sounds good. I'm down. <laughs> yep. uh, anyways, Dak's response would be, okay, um, well, I'm more than willing to assist you in this journey of yours, since you've helped me so far with no real reason to do so, other than that I turned you on. <laughs> Raising! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, uh, AJ. But, 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 really, AJ, AJ would be like, well, I, I, I powered you on. No, that's fine. I brought you back into no, that no. You Anyways, gave, you gave me the ability to move again, and that's you, 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 you gave him a, a glob of hair gel. He's gonna fix that hair. Yeah, he's okay, a robot. Okay, There's no where, gel. Where's the horse? Where's the horse? I can smell it. It's dead. Uh, oh, oh, someone beat it to death no no fungus is growing from it now so <laughs> while Zal is doing uh, on looking at seeing the cephalopod and the robot connect on a personal level <laughs> we're holding hands over here <laughs> right <laughs> yeah, we are we are holding hands <laughs> <laughs> we go back down to Kuzak and Dax uh, not Dax Deke, Deke rubbing their sore bodies as they've been spliced open wow this thing just went x-rated ow that hurt no Cass isn't here anymore we can we can like you guys can communicate now about the overlay that you're seeing and your aching That's sore your <laughs> yeah spliced open body that yeah, there was some painkillers, but man, they sure weren't good enough to stop all of it. Man, that water's going to be fun when we leave. <laughs> you guys are able to pick your gear back up, put your clothes back on, your armor back on. Deek doesn't really talk about it. Okay. This shit happened at one time at camp. I don't want to talk I about mean, it. I mean, he kind of wouldn't. He would just be, like, suffering in his own way. Well, if Killian was here and had it done, they'd be having a competition on who doesn't feel it more. But, <laughs> of course. since it's Kuzak, I didn't know he if... Is, yeah. How deep Kuzak would relax. Is. What? Vocally telling how bad it is. <laughs> this is the worst fucking thing. Why did I do this? Why did I think people convince me to do this? Convince you? You chose to. Yeah, I I know I chose to, but he, he that's what he thinks. No, I know. <laughs> I didn't know if Deke would say something like that. Just say I didn't tell you to follow me. Yeah, well, you should have stopped me. Deke was already down here getting cut on when you arrived. Yeah. It was screaming when you entered the door. <laughs> it's so true. You should have paused when you're screaming and stopped me. Ah, you might want to get out of here, man. It's kind of this kind of hurts. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh man. So, Killian, welcome. Wait, Thank you. hey, Killian! I don't know how much of uh, it you've been able to keep up with or are aware of. I just got here, so... Okay. Did you... Are tender moments between... Did oh. you catch last session or not? Um, I got a brief synopsis from Dex, but that's about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they oh, got what there. What you was before more happened. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot more than a little synopsis I gave you. <laughs> okay. Did um, you want to... 
Oh, go. <laughs> um, if it would be easier, um, I can. I, I'm still getting called on by family, so if it'd be easier, I can just sit the rest of the session out and then get an update at the end. I more need to know whether Killian would do something or not, so it's kind of good that you're here to at least uh, answer that. Yeah, he can okay. yeah, um, answer that, play it a little bit, and then. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's why I'm kind of glad he's here, so we can at least ask him instead of retconning you right, know, next right. week. So, you know, two weeks ago when you're back at that city, would you... So, they got to the top and talked to the city, right? That you guys went to underwater? And found out that they could get a mechanical grafting onto their skeleton, similar to what the aliens had in that... Uh, spaceship hole that you guys found where the spaceship evaporated how the skeletons had that uh, mechanical graft on their skeleton if you remember is that something yeah. that Killian would want to undergo or not absolutely not okay would he want to get a full body scan and get potential other recommendations uh sure Okay. That means you'd be in the science lab with H8, Dax, and Zal. And there's a device that you can, basically like a chamber you step in, has all these sensors around it, and does a full scan, all like down to the atomic level, and shows a full print up of your full species details. Okay. If you have, like, you know, any slight tumor or blemish or anything like that, it can identify that, as well as, you know, every organ that you have in your body, all those details. So it's, like, full scan. Probably if he's age, everything. I mean, if he can read their so language, full yes. Full medical scan? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so Zal and... Dax had done that, and Dax actually got an injection afterwards. Okay. I'm glad you're here, because um, I, I was feeling a little uncomfortable with him, too. <laughs> yeah, Dax doesn't have the option. I don't have bones. <laughs> well, not enough bone. Yeah, it's not rigid enough form to have a rigid form what applied to it. What are we talking about? I'm a, I'm a squishy Seriously? squishy. That that <laughs> Dax can't have the uh, alien's uh, robotic or mechanical, the electrical mechanical graft put on it. Because it requires a rigid so form. <laughs> okay, I missed I, one I'm sorry session because and our I... scientists are shooting up. <laughs> Pretty much. So, do you wish to receive any alteration, or do you wish to just preserve the scan for medical purposes, potentially in the future? Um, if it could upgrade my eyes or my hands, that would be useful. What do you mean by your eyes or your hands? Like, make me be able to see better or shoot more accurately, or draw my gun quicker. Like, I guess, sort of a bionic upgrade, but I'm not sure if that's what we're looking at here. No, that's more mechanical in that regards. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, in that case, I'll From just what you said, the scan. The scan area is more organic-based. So that would, like, literally have to modify your muscle tone, which could be extremely painful. But yeah, it could be extremely painful, but it'd be extremely useful, so... <laughs> um, but yeah, um, if it's, uh... If that's not an option, then I'll just hang on to the scan for now. Uh, it depends on the level of alteration you want. If it's something minor, it's probably doable. If it's something major, it's going to involve more of uh, gene therapy and take longer. Think of the difference between a uh, slight, you know, 
existing gene alteration versus like a Space Marines, you know, full body alteration. Now, I can't remember, but uh, Dax, did he give you an option? Or was it just one of those things where you're just like, do you want augmented? He asked me a question and it just kind of happened after that. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, you so didn't really I have an Dimes option to refuse explaining after the question. Too, yeah. Dimes <laughs> explaining too much right now for Killian. Well, I'm trying to understand exactly what is wanted because he didn't necessarily want the modification or not. Where yeah. Dax kind yeah. of said he did want a modification. And then he said one that could be a little bit more laborsome, which would take a little bit more severity. Okay, so he did mention what he wanted then. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, that was. I point. have a pretty clear idea of what I'd like to do, but it is fairly wordy, and I don't want to take up a ton of your time. Well, you can um, with it. Or okay. if you prefer sending um, it in a PM, that's fine, but. That's kind of what the session is about, is this sort of stuff, so it kind of fits. Okay. Um, so, I don't know how familiar you are with, uh, like, I mean, you're pretty familiar with sci-fi and fantasy and stuff like that in general. You know um, Moody's Eye from uh, the Harry Potter series? I've heard of it. How I can, like, really zoom in on it. stuff? I think so. Yeah, I think I've heard that about that one. Yeah, it can like operate independently of his other eye, and it allows him to like zoom in on things that he wants to look at and stuff. Um, it seems like that would be very, very handy to have as a gunslinger type character. Oh yeah, he 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 wants a bionic eye, basically. That's yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's part of the reason why my model has those giant goggle things on his face. Does that make sense? Mm hmm Did I lose you guys? Can you still hear no, me? No, I can hear you. I'm no, processing. I'm just I'm like looking things up and thinking. I can, oh. I, can, I, can, I, can I, I can hear in his silence. <laughs> Sorry. That's why I said... Oh, Kelly, Kelly, yeah. you should see these guys. They're like, oh yeah, just shoot me up with whatever you got, dude. They're, just, they're ridiculous. I mean, they're just, they're just silly. Roll For a science. con save. Science, yeah. For Killing science. Can someone roll that for me, please? I got you. Oh, did we ever get the roll bot, by the way? The what? The roll bot. Oh, no, Discord? we didn't. Sorry. No Life worries. has been chaos. Oh, uh, fuck. Well, I don't know what your bonus is, but. Con is zero. Ooh. I'm, uh, I'm giving I'm my you. I'm giving my inspiration. Okay. And rolling for him. You gonna roll? You want, want me to keep rolling? Or are you gonna roll? Nope, I'm gonna roll him. Cause I just used an inspiration for him. Gotta work out. Thank you. Wow. Nice job. Nice job. <laughs> Talk about using an inspiration. Well, went from a nine to nineteen. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm just as like surprised as anyone else. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> oh, no problem, no problem. Well, this 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 could this could like matter moving forward, and I figure yeah. our team ones should probably only be used in like dire circumstances. So I was just like, yeah, I'm probably not even going to use it today. So, and maybe if I have to, maybe you'll give me yours. <laughs> For sure. I mean, that and we still want his when he wasn't here to use, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> You're given a system that mutates your eyes. Think of kind of like uh, Witcher, how, you know, they take the mutagens that morph their eyes a bit. Ooh. You okay. now have a reptilian eye that allows you to kind of zoom in a little bit. Give you some slightly enhanced vision to see things. 
Okay. It's more of a RP thing than necessarily a mechanical alteration. Uh, with that, I still have dark vision, so would I be able to yes. zoom in through the dark? Ah. So you could see something closer within your dark vision range. Okay, cool. So you basically would make it larger, not necessarily see further in dark vision. And mechanically what that will do is probably under certain circumstances giving you a modification to your perception check for some things. Because you're able to basically okay. see them as though you're closer than you currently are. Sweet. But it's not a yeah, that'll work for me. mechanical alteration to the extent where it's, you know, gives you like advantage on your perception checks or anything like that. It's a minor alteration. Yeah. There you go. So like you get out and at first you like you're a little bit off balance because you're learning how to focus. It's almost like uh, Aragorn, the movie where he gets his dragon, right? When he first does that dragon vision, he can't quite control it very well. But, so he's kind of like, you know, sporadic with it. But then as you get the hang of it, you see the advantage of being able to control the vision like that. Sweet. So, Zal, as you're saying that, you see Killian go over and gets stuck with something, and then he's like, comes away, like acting like he can't focus very well, like his eyes are like dilating, almost like he's on drugs, and then fine, and then high, and then not, like stumbling around a little bit. But then he starts getting the hang of it, and seems like he can control his eyes a bit on whether it looks like he's on something or not. Yeah, I'll offer him a um, um, medical mushroom, you know, just, just, you know, just grow one in my hand, and offer him a medical mushroom. Like, it's okay. You know, we're going to be all right. Do you need some help? Here's a mushroom. <laughs> I will absolutely take a mushroom. Thank you, sir. Zal, uh, Zal, like, Zal looks, looks at everybody with his, like, his superiority, like, you see what I just did? Like, you know. You ingest his mushroom. That's not a sentence I expected to hear this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Do you partake of his spores that he has blessed upon you? Rarely do you go from a family outing to, do you ingest this mushroom? Come on, bro. Peer pressure. <laughs> Everyone's doing the shrooms, man. It's just one so, trip. One um, who who has gotten an upgrade so far, or what have they taken? Oh, everyone got different things, basically. Um, Not Zal. everyone. Zal won't participate. Zal's the only one who hasn't had anything happen at this location. Gotcha. Because he's too that, uppity. Right, Zal just thinks that he doesn't need it. He's, he's, he's mm -hmm. perfect. He's the perfect life form. I see. So he's already reached the zenith of evolution there. Exactly. Yes, embracing Rod. Isn't that the zenith of evolution? That, that sounds an awful lot like some heresy to me. <laughs> oh, also, also, you, you miss Killian. Um, H8 got smart. Well, Get Smart stretch. is a great movie. That's a stretch. <laughs> well, let, let H8 fill Killian in on what happened. Basically, uh, the Overseer, which was the big AI in the area, in the city, um, unlocked or fixed something in me i'm not sure at this point and i my intelligence went up four points so so wait, 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 wait. the big tall companion that we travel with 
talked to the wizard, and the wizard gave him a brain? Yes. Wow! That's not Pretty right. much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Dime, Dime, are you are you doing an Oz? Are you doing an Oz? <laughs> Do not look behind the curtain. <laughs> no, I can't tell Dax to click his slippers together because he doesn't wear them. <laughs> when did I get slippers? Exactly. I'll clack those things all over the place. Wait, Dax is Dorothy? It changes everything. <laughs> Well, who else would you say is Dorothy? I mean, I need multiple pairs of slippers. It'd be all sorts of yeah, <laughs> yeah. crazy tap dancing though. I mean, I mean, you're curious. You 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 keep going forward even though you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Anytime we move down a hallway, it's going to be absolutely deafening as eight slippers clack. Click 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 click. <laughs> Dax, oh, stop! So Just don't move. Oh, I mean, man. H.A. also found himself as well. Or he did. A part of himself that he has lost. Actually, Killian think, got I to think, watch... I think Dax. I, I meant H.A. H.A. Killian got to watch himself. you and Dax embrace for a while and have some sort of exchange. <laughs> We were holding. I, I I was holding. Oh God! Anyway, I say this, it's not gonna sound right. He was holding on my tentacles. That, that's not <laughs> a, tentacle. Just say one. It doesn't need to be a multiple. I said one of my tentacles. <laughs> I'm gonna trim this tentacle. clip out of the vod and then set it to careless whisper. <laughs> I mean, it's actually, it's actually a moment where we're kind of bonding a bit because I realized how much of an idiot I've been. You're turning into H8 again. <laughs> Metamorphosis. So, but yes, Killian, that is why I said now would be good to get that from you so we didn't have to try to retcon any of that. Okay, yeah. Cool. So, anything else you guys want to do in the city? Or do you want to seek your way out? Well, uh, I mean, did Dax, Dax did want to go back to the Overseer, right? Yeah, I would let you know that before we leave, because I had this thought while we, everything was happening. I was kind of processing the data chip and then thinking about everything else going on, so... Um, but but in, in, in a, I'll in let a you know. Smart... We should probably talk to the overseer to see if it can hook us up with the location of other places such as this one that are still active, or or ones any... that could be reactivated. Yeah, I was gonna say in, information about ones we visited even before. That's true too. That, that yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> we could get more information on locations we have been. You're, to. you're telling H8 all this and it's like yeah, and this because I'm. Actually, smart now. You got I care. smarter. Yay! Not only did I get smarter, though, I actually kind of gained a sense of curiosity and purpose <laughs> and self yeah. and yeah, reason. I only had a brain. It's amazing. I I, I I I used to be that, but now I'm more. <laughs> we went from Wally to Eva. <laughs> yes, yes, kind of. Uh. <laughs> I'll be no, a no, because until I dry up. Wally, no, though, because Wally, <laughs> Wally still was the original lover in the situation. So, people <laughs> right. didn't think of him that way until later on. <laughs> Let's move back in and away from cartoon. Yeah, so, yeah that got weird real fast. Right. No, so, what do you mean? You guys can get back in the elevator and go up. There's only room for one of you to go with H8. As you remember, it's a little bit packed otherwise. I can squish in easily. You also oh, have... Geez. True. You, you can. <laughs> Delete this VOD. <laughs> you also have the issue of two of your companions being on a separate floor. Oh, so no one else can... No, because because he went by himself. Oh, 
we have to contact um, them. We I mean, hey, hey, Killian, could you uh, find out where Deacon went? I know he went to get um, some sort of modification done, so. <laughs> uh, I should still be able to radio him, yeah? You could try. <laughs> I mean, well, that's ominous. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, you're Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. You can try. <laughs> Uh, alright, I guess I will radio for Deke and, and see if I can get a situation report. Radio, the signal goes out, but it seems to be some sort of interference when you start looking at the signal in the area. You notice that the any sort of airway signals are currently kind of pushed to capacity. Can I? That's right. I'm Zal. Because we're being overloaded talking to each other right now. Zal has Dax to uh, extreme distances. Wait, what'd you ask me? Oh, would you remember what 4D had to go to? Because me and Killian could go down there and try to. That's a great on. question. Do I remember which floor he got sent to? Roll a history. Okay. Sort of as a side note here. Um, oh, wow, it's does... falling all the way over there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Do you five, or X have the ability to interface directly with our little comlink things? Potentially. Uh, H8 seems to usually be able to directly transmit, potentially. Uh, can I now transmit to them directly because they're they have the headset is what i'm wondering well deacon did yeah he had the whole bluetooth setup thing going the streaming right the streaming thing yes um but i was thinking more of the fact that we're kind of i'm i'm kind of on two networks right now if i'm not if i'm not wrong right time you, I think you I'm left the other GA. one for now. I think you kind of let GA handle GAs and kind of left that one. Oh, so I'm not on because the city. Well, once the handshake completed, they went and did their own thing. <laughs> I mean, unless you wanted to be a participant, in which case you may not be able to be as active in other things. Uh, no. Um, they're going to talk. Oh and, yeah, and, and very. They're, actually, they probably couldn't be interrupted at this point. Um, so there's no way that I can like communicate through the city network. To you can actually network. scan and see that all sort of network bandwidth is very dead. much um, packed. Hmm. Oh wait, but does he have a map? He, or he has a map of the city. Does. Does have little indicators? Now that you actually plans? know which floor. You remember which floor he went to. Dax. So if he pulls up the map for you... I mean, we can just you wait can see for him in the lobby. Well, I'm gonna go down and escort, um, escort Killian. Like, be with Killian, you know, because we're the only two people that can well, scout. In this depends floor. if... Uh, I would let him know which floor he, got, he went to. It depends if Dax... Or it depends if Deke and Kuzak can remember which floor is the lobby. Because they can now see the overlay, but they don't know the language at all. See the L button on the, on the elevator. <laughs> I suddenly remember the chaos we ventured when we didn't have H8. Hey, H8, we should probably go to a floor where they are so we can actually retrieve them. I'm not sure they'd be able to read the signs otherwise. Do, we ha do I have to? Let You're the only one that I... understands it. I can read it, sort of, but... Dax, you remember the floors you've been to, so if it's a floor you've already been to, you can handle it. Okay. You just don't understand the language also, to the degree he does. Also, I'm very large. Yes. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess I'll go with Killian to where they are. Okay. To the so, implant lab or whatever they went to. H8 crosses his arms, like, yeah, I'll wait. 
You'll wait with yeah, Sal. On, on this floor. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, as... I can wait in the overseer's <laughs> room. So, <laughs> as... There. <laughs> yeah, there you go. As Killian and Dax enter the elevator and head down, that's where H.J. and Zal realize they're left here in this science area by themselves. H.J. the whole time is just looking right at the elevator with his arms crossed and, like, not even trying to signal to anything to talk to him. <laughs> Zal, Zal's got his, his little collective, like the, the black the black fungus growing on him, and he's like looking at all his panels. He's like trying to pick the doors open on his panels, like looking inside of them. Who? H8? Yeah, H8 he, he panels. He's just like trying to fucking, like, you know, take a little peek here, a little peek there of like all his panels and stuff, trying to see if any of them come come apart so you, there's like some breakers or something or some switch so like yeah, a little, little kid and poking and at whole, and, yeah and the whole time agent is just staring forward at the, just ignoring it <laughs> <laughs> that robotic laugh was pretty in character right is it happening again it comes and oh, goes it is it is happening again jeez mm -hmm. so You're having a really hard time finding any sort of crack on H8. For some reason, it's almost like any crack that had been there before was removed. Yeah, I, w I wasn't trying to sabotage him. I was just curious. Mm-hmm. No, I get that. And that's why that's why H8 wasn't like you know like. But that's he what you're seeing. No calls, he had no cause for concern. He was well, just like, keep oh, in mind, AJ, you did have panels that were open before no, by no. Dax and by still the Overseer. Don't have, still don't ha didn't have that, like, I didn't feel like he was trying to harm me. Okay, it's yeah, yeah, what I'm saying. He was trying to like, just open you up and look, and look at your innards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you can find my off switch, good luck. He wants to just poke inside you. <laughs> it would it would be it would be hard for even Dax to find an off switch. <laughs> if I'm not if I'm not mistaken time. Actually you don't I mean, exactly you have an off switch. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Which also means you don't exactly have an on switch. Right. Exactly. Which is part of the issue. Yeah, you I'm getting you to turn on or Sometimes off. Sometimes you gotta restart machines. You could say that could be part of H8's problem. He doesn't turn on and off. Nope. That's so power cycles. I'm always on, baby. I had to. I had. I had to. I'm sorry. It's all right. So. Deke and Kuzak. You see the elevator open and you see a Dax and a Killian there. Why, well, hello. Dax, you're muted. I don't know if you're saying anything. I'm more curious, would you be saying, oh, hello, or you'd be more like, ah, hi! <laughs> I don't think I'm in that much pain anymore, am I? Oh, it still hurts. It definitely hurts. Hurt. Um, but no, you rolled high enough on the con save that you're able to not be screaming pain or unconscious. Oh. But it hurts. Where you hear oh, the, are the... you one of the ones that got their skeleton replaced? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Um, um, did he? Mm-hmm. Not replaced, but he had a graph yeah. put on his skeleton. Right. So he has the heads-up display now? Mm-hmm. Neat. I see augmented realities. He has a interface device now. Out of curiosity... I'm going to, like, poke him and see if I can get anything from it. <laughs> if there's okay. some sort of subroutine I can talk to. 
Deke, I want you to roll a con save. Uh, Not con, (laughs) charisma save. Me? Yeah. Ooh, all right. Uh oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's your surface thoughts right now, Deke? Um, like, what are like the f- thoughts going through your head right now, as right Dax now, comes up and like touches you and examines? There's pain now too. I know, but my helmet is on though, so even though I'm grimacing and holding it back you still hear it in my voice as I'm like hey Dax it's more like a hey Dax what is on your mind like your thoughts not your voice what's actually on your thoughts good question like what what is Deke currently thinking Dax and Killian just showed up and he's in pain trying to not show it I think he would be trying to figure out how this all works together, how he can utilize it, um, slash, if it was even a good idea. So that's what Dax is hearing from Deke. Ah, I wonder how we can use this. Is this even worth it? What does it actually do? I mean, those are the same questions I've been asking myself, too. I'm sure we'll find a use for these somewhere, but at the very least, they'll help us on this planet. Did I just hear that in my head? Dax, did you transmit it, or did you say it? I mean, since it's convenient, and I probably wouldn't be thinking about it at the time, it's more fascination, he'd probably just hear it in his head. <laughs> yeah, you hear it in your head. Like, you hear it, a different voice than you're used to of Dax in your head I kind of like stop and give him this look but there's a helmet on me so all you see is just me staring at you (laughs) helmet shift what making one of those hand gestures like what what wait what (laughs) so that's the the first time I've ever heard that Mm -hmm. version of you that's interesting I didn't think that would work. I thought, I... if anything, I'd just get, like, the subroutine. But, no, they, uh... Huh. I just heard yeah. you in my head. Would oh, D- yeah. D- uh, would D- kind of, like, pull his hand away at that? Together. Kind of shock. Not, like, in a, you know, like, recoil, I hate you kind of way, but kind of a shock, like, whoa, what's that? Yeah, and I'm also... <laughs> also thinking like does that work with others who can only talk telepathically or whatever I'm thinking that not saying Mm -hmm. so that one he wouldn't get since you're not touching him anymore right so now I'm at that point I'm thinking too like okay maybe it was worth it now that I've seen this happen (laughs) so Kuzak, you're there if you're back. I don't know if you are yet, but you know, dealing with your wounds as you see all this transpire. And then Killian, you just saw Deke pull back from Dax. Almost like you got, you know, you know when in the winter when your hands get kind of dry and you transmit that little spark, like boo, pull away. Kind of like that. And you heard Dax then say what he did about it being worth it. Did did you guys just have a conversation? Is that what just happened? In my head, yeah. No, and then I hadn't looked at Killian and be like, yeah, um, it seems he's very well fused and very much a hybrid now or at least it seems to be as far as computer is concerned 
That's interesting. Because normally I can only talk to computers like that, which is why I get along with H8 so well. And how I talk to the city before at the entrance. Well, I'm glad we went through this process because now one of our heavily armed soldiers has got voices in his head, and that's always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry getting, about it. Getting much. along with AJ so well is like an oxymoron. <laughs> I was already a psychopath. Now I'm even more of one. <laughs> no, this just brings legitimacy to the voices inside your head. Went from was... psychopath to schizophrenic. There you go. <laughs> Top of me. So, uh, Dax, were you going to tell them that you wanted to get everyone to head back up to the... Oh, yeah, I should probably do that. I got caught by fascination. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. Um, this sh we should be heading up to the overseer. Or wait, did I know H8 stayed in the lab, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I. Well, we'll just get back to the lab for now. Then we're all. Didn't you tell H8 to, to meet up on the bridge, or the overseer's deck, whatever you want to call it? I mean, I was going to meet up on the overseers. I was pretty sure that's what you told H8 to do. Okay. I just let him know oh, that yeah, okay. I was going was gonna to ask the overseer if he knows anything more about the other cities on the planet, but... If he did say that we were meeting up on there, that's why I was waiting for the... the Oh, okay. Because as soon as they landed and got off the elevator, I'm like hitting the button. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so then it comes back. You guys can get on and head up. As you do so, you're I, still getting yeah. groped by a fungus. I'm still just looking <laughs> for it out, out the elevator doors, just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Quick, take him to the, the security for it. Fungus is groping people. What'd you say? Did you say my, my fungus is groping people? Well, I mean, you said you're prodding him. Yeah, you're prodding me, like, looking for an opening. So. What, what is it What is it called <laughs> when I you... Only, I was only groping age 8. I don't just grope anybody. Well, still, that's what we're talking about. You it's get in nice hair. the elevator groping age 8 and, you know, trying to find his panels and his holes. I mean, it's kind of groping someone when you're trying to find their holes. Just saying. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll concede to that one. <laughs> so yeah, we're we we do make it our way up to the uh, observer. We have to keep pausing the pausing the elevator for a little session, though. <laughs> so you guys get off at the overseer's area, and then I take it, Dax, you and the three of your compatriots head up. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I'm not sure if everyone here like, are they moving? Do we need to help Kuzak over there? <laughs> is he okay? Do we need I'm to lift sure him? Sure, Kuzak is, is <laughs> coming with you guys. Yeah, yeah. He, he said he had to make a bottle for his child, and um, yeah. No, I, we saw he stepped away for a minute. It's yeah. Yeah. It's, he would follow. He would follow. He might want to, you know, let you carry him if you offered, but. I he can move, it's just painful. <laughs> I can throw bandages on him, that's about what I can do. I can give him an injection. <laughs> mm, bandages wouldn't help, depending on what the injection is, it may or may not. <laughs> no, it's the heal wounds type deal. Oh, okay, then it wouldn't. Or the equivalent of cure wounds. It's not exactly wounds that are the issue, it's more yeah. long-term wounds, lingering injury kind of thing. I'll give him a mushroom. Hopefully I don't get it mixed up again. Well, you can give him a mushroom once we meet up with you on the top floor. <laughs> Let me put my spores in your mouth. <laughs> yes, Sal. Just... Just... What? What? what is this? <laughs> yeah, what is this? <laughs> Sal grows mushrooms to basically administer healing. It won't work on H8. Oh. 
but instead of the darn right it won't healing pack that Dax does for the organics. This is Sal can actually administer something similar via a mushroom that he can grow. It's just a lot more fun to say, you know, let me put my spores in your mouth. If you're feeding someone mushrooms. You know that robot in Fallout 4 in Diamond City that just sells noodles? Mm -hmm. He's like, among shala. That's how I feel mm -hmm. <laughs> with the mushrooms. He's just like, mushroom? Yes. Mushroom? Yes. Mushroom? That's a fun one. I actually thought about doing a Fallout 4 playthrough. But back to the game. Sorry. You're getting me sidetracked to Deke. My bad. No, it's cool. <laughs> You just make me think fun. of things. This game is so much fun, dude. Like this, this little group of people. And, and oh yeah. The way we get together and have we just are able to laugh at each other, so it's it's a lot of fun. So you guys all get up to the main area again. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Oh, good. Out of character, I was worried he wouldn't be able to talk. <laughs> well, actually, you see like a lot of the lights kind of like processing and stuff in the area just all like lit up like flashing so it's good that none of you have uh, seizure prone because otherwise I would have had to give you that warning that you know CDPR does on cyberpunk when you load it that you know hey warning it can cause seizures you know smack in your face for a good 15 seconds when you're loading yeah you'd have no, to get I'd that just, I'd look around the room and be like oh, it's like being back on the fleet ship <laughs> hey it's like being back home with everyone it's talking like <laughs> also, I'm, I'm sure Killian and uh, Kuzak are both like looking around, like what, like, <laughs> or no, not Killian, because he didn't. Yeah, that's right, he didn't get it. Never mind, just Kuzak. Yeah, no, Kuzak sees He's like in holographic Deke. overlays. Deke at, least, in... Deke at least knew what to expect going yeah. into it because he saw it. So, but but yeah. Kuzak is probably just like, what the. Like looking at just around and seeing everything. This whole building around. has yeah. AR overlay on it. So it's kind of a, probably a little bit of a sensory overload to Kuzak. Not realizing just to what degree it was. So. That being said. Oh, Dax. Uh... Yeah, I was wondering if you were able to share information about other cities on this planet that, or the ones that we've already visited, if you have any information on them too. Uncertain as to which you visited. Other locations are non-responsive. Is this the only one responsive on the whole planet? That I am aware of. Hmm, okay. Um, I would have the coordinates for, or H8 would have the coordinates of the other locations we visited, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's. I, I would share the I coordinates. I was just about to say, I yeah. wanted to share the, yeah. <laughs> share the coordinates and see if they have any information to offer. And we can update them with their current state. Extrapolating differential and location evaluation. Please stand by. Locations designated, received. All offline? What did you find there? I mean, there's an overseer on each of those? I say that. To... Well, you told her the three locations you visited, what? other than hers, and... So she's wanting to know what was at those locations when you were there. She knows what's supposed to be there, but what were you, what did you actually find there? Even still, that's what AJ says. <laughs> Are there other overseers there if they're offline? <laughs> I would offer more information. <laughs> uh... There the should right be most, the rightmost rightmost location. If you climb the wall, you can get up there to the eggs for the dinosaur. No, yeah. my monster hunter theory is a little bit weak. There should be an overseer at the other location. 
Uh, the other two do not. One seems to be inside a mountain, which is odd. What was there? Oh, well, that was probably the ship that temporal shifted away or exploded. One of them. That'd be perfect. Calls me the HD shares the memory to alleviate the. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So with what you're sh- didn't have the knowledge to save the ship. With what you're sharing for info. I'm sharing the, the most of of what the ship like any time the ship was in a memory, that's what I'm sharing. What about the other two locations? Anything on those? Oh, I'd just be able to like touch the floor or room and share that too. And I could share the horrendously long well, we uh, error we can list see. error list that the ship gave me. If you want to, you can. I I wouldn't I wouldn't do that yet. I would share basic share basic for now. Uh, any memory of the ship because that was the most important thing in that place. Um, in the memory, ones that were memories it. memories of the creatures we've seen from every single location any type of temporal mo- moment and that's it education and scientific location removed outpost designation removed ship designation removed Thank you for the information. She did Couldn't tell you better. that there was supposed to be an overseer at the ruined city you went to. But it has not fared as well, given that it um, was more embraced by nature and had less defenses against it. Yeah, the one with the crumbling... Oh, with the trees? Yes. Trees, yeah, yeah. But there might still be something there we can salvage. Hmm. Unknown. H A notices it might be his imagination, but he notices the overseer is now talking a lot like G A. <laughs> uh, overseer is actually sounding a lot more partially absent, like she's. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's doing something else. <laughs> I, I'm I'm sorry, but you started using she is, and that's where I kind of got yeah. triggered a little bit. It, she, <laughs> no. they, you know, mm. AI designation. No, I know, um, I know, I know. Yeah. Because GA has always been a she, so that's one of the things I'm just like. But H8 does does see a a connection between them. That's. I mean, we kind of set it up. (laughs) You now see that there is a similar aspect of when you're talking with them, they have a lot going on, so the communication isn't necessarily as um, involved. No, that's easy. Because... Before we were talking to Legion, now we're talking to one. (laughs) The rest are busy. (laughs) You know. So, anything else? No, not for me. No. I mean... I just noticed that they're... That talking to them is... Is... More and more... Cancerous. Well... Not cancerous. Just more like... I'm trying to think it's harder to get these. information out of them because they're just doing their own thing at this point now. I mean, since it's already talking to the GA, that's going to handle a lot yeah. for the planet, planetary wise. Um, how are we going but, up, like two levels I'm tr- next session? Like, <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think of like what else can I? Well, I don't know because. I might, well, at least my species works with the Galactic Academy a lot. Yeah, 
I, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say, out of character, I would imagine you would ask, "Is there anything of significance we should be looking at?" I mean, I think, I, it, it's a weird, I think that, it's a weird the thing. The biggest to say, problem but... is that I can't like repair their stuff, even though I really okay, want. I, I, we have right? thirty minutes left. I think <laughs> Are there, there any minutes. tools I can have to we help have fix your we have left. I think that we can make it back to the. I think we can make it back to the base in thirty minutes, and receive the rewards that we get for all this information dumped we're going to give them and we can level up you know like as out of character I mean, Zal I gets mean, a three inch stick <laughs> to sit on well, well but here's the question though uh, three inches, six, here's the question on. is can can GA and the city communicate if I'm not there oh yeah Oh, you're so important now. I got it. I get it. I get it. No, no. I thought. I thought I was the, the like. I thought that's why it was able to happen. Because otherwise, why are they connected to another? I you you access the outpost communication modules basically is what I've gathered. Anyways, that's what I thought. Was I that super starting to bring, send a, send a, um send a, um a hovercraft. We're, we're important now. Because I want to get this place fully up and running, but I don't have you, the ability. <laughs> you were the bridging <laughs> connection, H8, but they were able to establish a connection after that. Um, it originally hadn't been done, because neither network okay. was aware of each other. Thank you. Um, Thank one you. needed to have the signal boosted, sense. and the other... Well, at, the, at this point, then AJ would be just wanting to go back to camp anyway because he wants to speak to the professor. And Dex is just sitting here like, I don't want to leave yet. There's so much I can learn here. I don't want to go. You're like trying to drag a kid away from an amusement park at the moment just because there's so much here that's fascinating him that he wants to look into and he's. He hasn't even him, scratched like, the surface. He's talking to him. Don't worry about it. You'll figure it out later. Let's go. <laughs> Zal will offer any 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 kind of um hand that he can give to get Dax happy with the amount of stuff he's bringing back. You know, if he has to tote a couple of loads of laundry or whatever the case may be. You know, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that. Dax is definitely a sheet sniffer. <laughs> I'm not sure Dax cares too much about laundry being done or not. The figure. Normally, no. Right now, definitely not. <laughs> the figure of speech, you know, the figure of speech. <laughs> so. Oh, I just thought of something. With the scan, since I got my suit, could I find suit improvements? Or could it give me a way to improve my suit? Unknown. Crap, I'm already out of the lab. I'm just gonna head back there, boys. You go on and help me. <laughs> and G3 creates a new character as Jax decides <laughs> to Jack sign out. To the and science lab. <laughs> stay here for the rest of his life. AJ grabs him like, no. <laughs> when he says make a new character, I'm just telling you for experience. Just don't give him experience. When he says make a new character, he means make a new character. Well, if he oh, decides oh. <laughs> to, yes. But I was gonna say, don't try to fornicate with with random species, maybe. <laughs> That's why I played a species that doesn't fornicate at all. I, I honestly, uh, like that was the best episode to me because everything went so good the whole episode and then right at the end a bad decision just happened and it wasn't a bad decision like as a character like as a gamer it wasn't it was just a bad decision that <laughs> an actual character made <laughs> oh anyways um, i'm assuming everyone wants to go back to camp so i will concede <laughs> but I won't be happy about it. I, I didn't know what you mean. I'll look at AJ and be like, please, please let me come back later. <laughs> AJ, AJ, just or, like. Or send me information. 
Uh, H -H -H is just like, how much did they say? has it, let's go. <laughs> and like, literally like has to push him into the elevator <laughs> with him and block him from leaving. He just like, pick me up and I like, so we go first. your arms like, I don't wanna. <laughs> we, go, we go first, by the way. That Are you all wishing there. to depart? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not anyways. Is there a problem? Other than the calamari, we're all ready to go. Negative. AJ actually says that. Is there a problem? Negative. Just one. Data collection. If you're wishing to leave, there is alternate paths. Uh, not like through that. the water? Because I, I, like I don't want to go through the water anymore. You get a loaded details of a essentially a shuttle bay that was used for transmission of supplies. Up to like the structure basically? Yeah, up to the surface. To so anyone who can see that has that ability to see. They see that as well or just me? It was sent to you? Since okay. you replied. I would Do I see it? <laughs> if you're viewing it, yes. Yeah, because I'm I'm holding him back from going. Like, yeah, it's still at this point, so he's touching me. It's whether he chooses to, though. It's not like he's forced to. No, he wouldn't be. That's invasive. <laughs> <laughs> he only does it when there's a purpose. So you know. You well, as, soon as, as soon as I see it, I share it as well. Like I, I okay. trust him enough to like as soon as I see it, I don't have a problem, you know, <laughs> like passing it to him. Is there a shuttle in this shuttle bay? There is. A few of them. Let's go there. <laughs> so I'm guessing we still have to get into the elevator. Mm -hmm. Um You actually travel through the city a little ways. And there's a resource depot that has a connected resource vehicle supply, essentially. It's like, you know, a warehouse for trucks and the trucks. Um, but instead of trucks, they're underwater pods that go up to the surface and back. And so you can go in there and it actually opens up. It's not exactly built for comfort since it's do meant I to have supplies. Do I have to take my own, basically? Hmm? Do I have to take my own, basically? No, it's actually big enough okay. you could all fit in. Oh, because it's, it's, it's supplies. Okay. Yeah, it's like a cargo okay. container. Okay. There's no pilot position on it. But it's basically a cargo container. It's like an automated type. Mm -hmm. thing. Gotcha. But we so can't fit, we all can't fit in one. You can. Okay. Cool. Make sure. So you all load up if you choose to, and then. Yeah. It's definitely a faster way of transportation around this planet, so... Um, well, yeah. out of the lake, anyways. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fine. I'll also at least be able to skip us back to the camp. <laughs> oh, wait, well, it's been sitting be here closer. for thousands of years, never mind. We might be closer, at least, from where we came. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're at the, actually the closest part of the lake to get back to base instead of anywhere else in the lake. Oh. And then once you're all out, it oh, goes back. Um, before we leave the city, though, I would try to connect to the overseer again. Maybe, like, thank you for your hospitality and all your information. I hope your business with the Galactic Academy is a positive one. It's nice to have or someone to speak people. with. And then we will be leaving now. Thank you for everything. And I suddenly I don't. don't like that the city is talking to GA. I, I don't know. It's my, <laughs> own, it's my own little thing. Don't worry about I it. I mean, it, we, 
Yeah, I mean, this is the best possible outcome for us as far as our mission here is concerned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy don't exactly do everything perfectly all the way through. <laughs> sure you know, when do. it comes down to right or wrong, they, they step up. And they're basically two yep. AIs that are made to yep. collect information. <laughs> it's all good. I'm just, I'm just, From what I'm we can, just saying. Just that or we're setting up our own demise later. We'll find out. <laughs> you know, you never know. <laughs> That's the best part of D and D, or other tabletop RPGs, isn't it? You have the freedom to do anything you can conceive, and you can embrace the repercussions thereof. Oh, so how close are we to camp now? You're actually about a day closer to the outpost. Oh, that's actually huge compared to how long it took to get. Yes. Yes. Well, it says on the Jabba cast, great, great dice. What? No, dude, Zal did amazing getting us here. What are you talking about? I was just, I was just trying to start shit. And I knew, I knew, <laughs> no, I, no, absolutely no point. In you can banter all you want while you lead us back to base. <laughs> <laughs> As we're walking, H8's obviously just going through all of his previous memories over and over again. Over and over again. Are you still stepping on the shroom tracks as well? <laughs> always. Always. If I, it, I, I don't I'm know. Would the, you be even paying I'm attention at, the back. at that uh, point? I, I get enough. I get enough. Uh, attention span <laughs> to be to doing two things at once, especially as a robot. Okay, I'm just putting on a light show while you're holding me since I never got to know. <laughs> oh, no, now that we're out. No, no now that we're out, so you're I processing let everything. You know. nah, oh, yeah, no, I just no, hang no, on. I just totally, yeah, I just like, totally this makes forgot. It, I don't have to worry about thinking walking. about walking. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> I have so AJ is too preoccupied with, with his thinking and stepping on. Yeah little shroom that's sproutlings exactly that he just keeps he's holding him. also preoccupied with thinking about all the crap that's going on and how, all the information, the language, how to break it down, how to that's share great. with the camp. Yeah, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> do, we, do we see any um do we see any you know, the AR here now away from the city? No. Okay, so it's... What about if we, like, looked back at the city when we were on the shoreline? I'm curious about that. Well, it wouldn't help for Dax, but... You know. I was gonna say, Dax doesn't see anything. I know. Too squishy to get that upgrade. H8 looks back, because he's curious. H8 <laughs> would see a designation of the city there. What is it? That, it's is its name. Essentially, the city's name is seen what kind is of above the water there. I don't want to say what it translates to, but what is 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 it a name name or what it, it it's a to? name name, but it translates to mean something. So, you as a human being wouldn't understand it the same. So it'd be basically translation to you or transliteration. You know what what's the closest meaning sort of thing. What does it mean? Um, the aspect it gives is underwater research and development base so it's basically a city in other words, pop, 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 pop. so, so uh, basically what i what we all man, I wish we would be visited here first yeah, but it's 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 basically one word that kind of means that to right, these people right, right. Yeah, exactly. we, weren't really ready, we weren't really ready to come here first like we totally didn't get the locations of other places Using its sensors or previous data. Damn it. Yeah, we just didn't have that now. Ugh. Now that we're level four, you know, we're able to handle this place. If we would have come into this place at a lower uh, level, we might have got smashed. We I mean, you could have all new characters and <laughs> messed around with the snakes and got eaten. That could be entertaining. We, uh, I mean, you guys could have done a lot of dumb things. The week that I wasn't there. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Oh, no, you, 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 play, no, you, you play, you're, yeah. you're the intelligence careful. leader. You guys you're, played you're, it careful, and that 
You're, no, you're the intellectual wise. leader of the party. I got it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Story-wise, <laughs> it makes sense. And you guys didn't go forward where you should have maybe tried. You should have. Oh, we, we walked around for like two hours. Didn't, yep. Yeah, darkness. Yeah, <laughs> actually, you guys I'm were... Gonna, I'm not going to apologize again for not being here. But If you guys actually went up a few floors, you would have found the main generator for the city that's offline and isn't functioning. But you didn't want to walk up the stairs further. It was hot. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> when I have the ability to turn it back on anyways, I was rolling everything at disadvantage too on top I'm, of the I'm glad I did, system. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't come back, open up the doors, and just see a flaming crater and my friends were all dead. <laughs> that could have been fun. Uh, hold on that security droid. I just, I just come back to next week. Dime's like, yeah, people are coming. Just wait, just wait. You, you, it's fine, it's fine. Just join. People are Did coming. We pick up the scraps of SC4 on our way out. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Well, I, I think you guys said you're carrying SC4 powered down and offline. <laughs> That's right. Current uncertain status. <laughs> yeah. But I gotta update my sheet. I forgot. And <laughs> we added back to the relic pile when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're returning <laughs> this. Until give it to the to... professor. Here's another relic. <laughs> no, he already knew about it. Because <laughs> the professor had to give him access. Oh man, turn him back uh, into Enterprise. But still, we'll, we'll be like, uh, yeah, he broke. <laughs> I have too much other stuff I want to work on before I can fix them. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much to do right now. <laughs> okay, so that one day travel. Um, do we have to roll anything? Oh, yeah. or is it How long do we sailing? get back? I mean, yeah, you usually roll your survival check to see how quickly you're able to make the trip back. This is survival. Wow. I don't, I'm not <laughs> rolling that. Someone else rolled that one. You had Zal do it last yeah. time. Zal? Can I get us back quickly? Okay, no problem. No problem. Do it. Do I it. I thought he had Do it. survival. Oh, Alright, what was that total? 11 plus survival is wisdom, so as well. That's a 13. I'll use my inspiration. Okay. There you go. So you guys are able to save a day and a half on the trip. Hey, hey. Dogs, I'm trying to do a show here. Chill. No, don't kill each other, ignore each other. You eat your food. You leave them alone. I'm busy. No, no, just eat. Just eat. This almost sounds like DMing. <laughs> You're looking at my food. Uh, uh. I just need to know how many days it took. Right. You get the same food, just chill. So yeah, food. you guys are able to get back. You roll a con save. Yeah. Oh no. So you're able to get back to the outpost, the camp, a little bit quicker than expected. Yay! We've got no days so that we can. Uh, uh, how many days was it four. out? I believe it was like five or seven. Six, I think. Six. With good rolls. <laughs> yeah. So it takes you four ish to get back. Cool. Because you had already lost a day and then he's able to. You know, kind all of you people that have to actually eat. Find a little bit better padding. I'm Just wait till you fight them. someone with EMP capability. Oh god. Please don't. I mean, I don't have to worry about it too much. Nothing I can do at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I just shut down and just like, oh, peaceful sleep. Well, <laughs> bye everyone. Shooting, but, you know. That's something, you know, might be needed, but we'll see what happens.
All right, so um, you're at camp. We're at camp. Clearly, H.A. No matter how exhausted Dax might be from the trip, he immediately just starts heading towards the professor and, you know, the, the Same thing with tank in there. Except I'm like, I have so much information to share, and he'll just, like, start working on a cipher with them, the languages, six different languages overlapping. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was so Dax, hard. Dax basically is going with... with knowledge in mind i'm basically going with more questions I wanna, more <laughs> questions like i want to ask this tell me more if he's that guy or if you know what happened or where i'm from basically yeah so you guys get there um everyone else can say what they want to do as well but we'll focus on the two of you for now since you spoke up first so you guys get there professor and team are working away What do you guys want to do? Who do you want to approach? Well, um, well, the professor. We both. Unless he's like guy. super busy, but I do more like I have so much That's information a very to share. Answer. You know, like the other one could have been a professor at. You know, like. <laughs> so you both walk up to the professor. He's like, Ah, welcome back. How can I help you? <laughs> so much to share. <laughs> Excellent. I'd but, love to hear it. And I just start explaining how the language is six different languages overlapping, and how the underground outpost is currently talking to Chi. <laughs> also, uh, H8 um, adventures and trouts and interesting things. Basically, staring down the professor, trying to figure out is that exactly the person that was on the video? You see very similar eyes, like identical as you saw looking at you now show up on this face looking at Dax with what he's saying so that explains why it was so difficult to try to decipher when it's actually six and we were thinking one no wonder very intriguing you'll have to help suddenly, us on this suddenly H8 grabs the skull <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then grabs uh, Dax's tentacle what? what? hi? Putting them together. Stranger danger. That we Stranger all, danger. That we're all <laughs> together in a mind space, in a way, and it's, plays it's, the it's... clip of me being found uh, by whoever it was. Is the skull an AI? I forget. Does that work with you just I, holding the AI? I, I mean, or are you trying to use me? HA's <laughs> pretty much figuring that's going to connect to to the. To, to the professor. Maybe it's but H8 thinks that. So you're so trying like to connect. Voluntary version of the Help Me Obi Wan. I'm, ba I'm, I'm, ba <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically, I'm basically trying to use Dax uh, as a Dax's, like, yeah. like you know, connection. He's trying to make me into a medium too, so that I can let him know I've seen either him or someone like him take me off the original planet I was on. Dax, you're smart enough, and you know AJ. You probably get the feeling that that's what he's trying to do. So it's up to you if you want to no. do so. I mean, since he's so focused on it, I... <sighs> Dang it, I was in the middle of conversing about something, though. Deke, I could treat you really nice. Me and you could find a little cabin by ourselves. Oh, jeez. Uh, you know, I'll treat you really nice. You know, I'll cook for you. You know, I'll make the bed. You know, I can treat you really nice. What is, what is happening over here? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't... Apparently know. he's... Apparently Zal is talking with Beak. what he said? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. He's really, really nice, you know. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't understand, you know. Uh -oh. Yeah, a lot of good things going on between each other. Killian, how do you feel about someone, uh... Talking to your friend that way. <laughs> I mean, I went through the academy with him, so it's not the first time I've seen someone hit on him. Can you all still hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. It's, it was kind of stunning to hear you say that. I, I was just <laughs> waiting to see if Sal would reply. So. 
Kuzak, did you make it back, or are you hey, still... Kill him. Would you like to get a little cabin with me? <laughs> uh, if you can suggest that again and see what happens. Okay. Uh, okay. So, H8. Anyways, I would let the professor know that I will absolutely help with this. <laughs> also, let him know, like, you know, their process of... No problem, Kuzak, I understand. Okay. But also, since H8 is very much dead set on this, I would help him, yeah. Okay, so you touch the skull. You notice that you can't get a signal on the skull itself. But you are able to touch its mechanical component and get a signal through. And you notice... Yeah, because otherwise I would have just put... put <laughs> Dax's tentacle on... You're just like, was, like, put the skull on my head and be like, make it work. <laughs> no, otherwise I would just forcibly touch the... Yeah, anyway. That's... You actually notice that it does link with You're the professor. You're problematic, Dax. <laughs> the skull is what? basically a external component that directly syncs with the professor. That's why. That's why I figured that it would work. There's a certain sci-fi that has it where the skulls they give them another name, but we're not saying that because then you start copyright stuff. The skulls are floating and they connect with their user can be basically drones or can directly connect to assistant things. And this one directly connects to him. Uploads data. Oh, I get it. I, th I think. I think I know what you're talking about. We can talk afterwards. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, you're able to upload that to him. He's like, I thought I remember. Let me show you. And you see the... He goes back to work as the skull stays there allowing the connection to persist and it shows you a full image of large humanoid figures in massive power to armor going through this derelict vessel with this small human individual with a skull scanning things and dealing with some strange creatures that you can never get a very good beat on and eventually finding this robot and in the corner is a skeleton of a creature that's humanoid but a little bit larger And he scans it, can't really get much details, and turns his attention to this robot. And he's frustrated because he can't get it to work, and then he detects something underneath and gets some help and gets it semi activated. And is frustrated that he can't fully get it activated because this is what he's studied for, he's trained for. Studying ancient discoveries. And then they bring the robot out into the academy. So you were there? Yes. You were one of my first discoveries that I got when I graduated. It was very fun. I've been striving to find discoveries as amazing and interesting sense. I thought That's you looked right. familiar. It's been a few years. Sorry, I did not recognize you sooner. The, the whole time, H8's emotional. Inside. Obviously, he can't show that emotion. And he says, that skeleton... Yes. What about it? Never mind. And he walks away. I, I am sorry. Is, <laughs> was that someone you knew? I assumed it probably was. He's kind of sulking 
in a corner at this point. I am sorry if you knew them. I, I wish there was something that could be done. He's basically just re reviewing the memories in his mm -hmm. head that he has. And the professor steps away and lets you be at that point, but he wanted to at least mm -hmm. let you know you're like, you know. Yeah, and H8 internally appreciates that he's treating him more so than mm -hmm. just the machine. Yeah. Well, he got the sense that there's something more there, given that you actually care. Machines don't care. They just do their job. <laughs> right? When's the last time your toaster cared if it toasted the bread to the per you know the degree you wanted? Uh, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Only they would ever do that. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time your car cared if it, you know... Hey, don't you talk bad about the machine spirits? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I was. They just do their jobs. You have to appease them, not the other way around. I believe my toaster works. It works. You know, that is a orky way to do things. That but, man is an orc. Arrest him. <laughs> thank you all for being here. It's about that time. We'll wrap it up here since it's a good stopping point. Um, we'll kind of blitz through kind of some of the conversation and move on next time think about kind of where you guys want to take it from here and let me know what your thoughts are i have a few thoughts of possibilities but i like getting input thank you all for being here until next time and as always enjoy the story we'll see you next time